Hey guys, we wanted to start doing a new section on our videos for Harmony Turbines. We're calling it the Weekly Whirl. And uh, what we've been doing, actually we were bad, we didn't do a video last week. So this week is two weeks worth. And we have finished like a ton of stuff. I'm, I'm talking a ton. You can't believe how much we did. We built walls, we put up electrical conduit, we have our now electrical and air closet over here. And believe it or not, all of the breakers are installed for our 208 panel. Had our inspector come in. We still have a little bit of work to do on the 480 panel, but all of our electric is in the welding area now. So we have a dedicated welding area that will be set up. It's all metal insulating everything from sparks and any problems that would be created from grinding or welding. We even have power over here now. So we've got, we've got one, two, three, four on one 20 amp circuit. And then we have one, two, three, four on another 20 amp circuit. These are gonna be our disconnect switches for our welders. So we have one welder over there, one welder here. One will be set up for aluminum, one will be set up for steel, and then we'll probably have the mobile screens that you pull around on, uh, they're on wheels. You know, they're kind of translucent, you can see through them, but it'll allow us to keep any sparks and grinding and stuff away from this area of the shop. So we'll kind of close this area off for the welding. Over here, we now also have our electrical run. We still have a little bit of cleanup to do with uh, with the box there um, and then closing that box. But we've got our power over here if you wanna follow me. So we have two circuits over here and one, two, three, four, five, actually four. One, two, three, four is on one leg. You should see this come on. So we've got our power here. So we have our digital readouts and we also have our power feed on our X. So we still have to run our three phase to get the power up and over to the machines. But we have just completed, not even 10 minutes ago, doing that very thing here on our CNC machine. So you can see we're coming up with our rigid EMT conduit down, and then we're gonna go into the electrical panel, and then the same thing's gonna happen on that machine. So they're totally open. There's no wires on the floor. There's not gonna be anything here. And then we'll just come across there with the airline as well down to the machine. So we'll zip tie the airline to the EMT conduit. That'll be perfect way to get our air and our power to the machines keeping everything open in the back in case we bring material or something like that through. So we have been crazy busy with all of the stuff we've been doing. We've been even cleaning out and getting the tanks ready for um, flushing them and cleaning them. Josh was inside of the machine the other day. I should have taken some pictures. It was, it was um, pretty amazing. He was in here cleaning it all up and getting the back ball screw clean so that we can rebuild and fix the, wherever they're at, the guards are somewhere. Yeah. Uh, that one's over here. here it is. We have it just sitting down on this machine. But the Z guard here was damaged. So we're gonna either rebuild that and repair it or replace it, I'm not sure at this point. Um, what else? We have this area set up for the lathe, the bandsaw and then the horizontal mill and we have power over in this area as well as you can see our Wi-Fi is powered down there so we've got our power over here we're gonna actually put a little shelf up on top of that wall and move the Wi-Fi and everything up on top of that shelf keep it up and away from anything dirty and get a little bit better reception in here um, we don't yet have the three-phase run to these machines but you can see the panel um, backboard that we're going to come down to with disconnect switch one. We'll probably have disconnect switch two and three just down here a little bit further so that each machine has its dedicated three-phase disconnect. 
Uh, all right, what else? We got our whiteboards up. So these whiteboards, I got them for $120 for all six of them. They were brand new. So guys, we just peeled off the brand new sheeting on these. These are brand new whiteboards. They're magnetic, they're beautiful. So we have, we'll be able to do our lean manufacturing techniques and get our supplies and move our pieces of inventory through. Um, our bathroom is finished. We have a painted bathroom. I think Josh was giving me the five minute mark. <laughs> um, yeah. Josh did a really nice job finishing the bathroom here. So we have our mirror. And then it's even painted. Hopefully there's Nothing, uh, the, uh, no, there. the uh, floor needs done. We didn't mop that yet because we've been too busy, more worried about electrical than mopping floors. We did get a mopping bucket though. It is here, so. Yep. Right we're, uh, there. we're we're trying to stay clean. <laughs> we even have our hand washing sink out here set up, and the runs going up to here. This one will be. It's just cold. If I would turn it on, um, that's going to be for filling up our CNC machines, getting the initial fill straight off of the tap, and then we're gonna get an RO system. That RO system is gonna go under the counter or on the side of the counter here, and we'll put the kitchenette uh, sink in there. So the sink is here. We just haven't done it yet because we've been busy with so many other things, but you can see the drain line is run. These are the hot and cold lines that'll be going up to the sink, and we have power up here, so the coffee maker is on, you can see it. So we have power everywhere back here. We've got our... It is not 12 o'clock, by the way. No, it's not. It's time to go home. It's <laughs> or 4.42. But we have our computers and our um, desks powered now properly from the back area. Again, this is on one circuit, completely on its own. And then these four over here on another circuit. So in actuality, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, then seven, and eight eight separate 20 amp circuits running through the whole shop for all of our 120 volt needs. So that was a huge accomplishment to get done. Kudos to Josh for putting up with me and my crazy antics as we're figuring out what pieces and parts we need to get for the puzzle, because it is a puzzle when you're putting all the electrical together like this. I hope Lowe's sponsors us after this because we spent a lot of money at Lowe's trying to get all these parts. Yeah. Did you get a good shot of this up here, Josh? So they yeah, see I get them. on the CNC. Yeah, it's. That's uh, you can see it a little off. better there. Yeah. Next week, Monday, because it's Friday, if I didn't mention that, for our weekly world, we're not going to stick to like Friday weekly worlds, but you know, who knows? We'll just try and do once a week and we'll call it our weekly world. Um, it'll be an update and let you know where we're at. Our crowdfunding campaign closes tonight at midnight. Tonight at midnight is the last that you can jump on the crowdfunding campaign for Harmony Turbines. So if you want to do it, what is the date today? The 18th? 18th, 19th. 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 It's the 19th yep. today. So if you want to get in and you're watching this video after the 19th, you're out of luck. Sorry. But if it's the 19th and you still have a few hours before midnight, you can jump on the WeFunder campaign and get in on Harmony Turbines crowdfunding campaign. Otherwise, who knows what the future holds. Um, at this point, Monday morning when we come in, we're gonna start working on getting the two manual mills over here, the vertical mills set up with their power, their three-phase power, and um, leveling off the CNC machines. And then we'll start working on getting the power for the lathe and the horizontal mill. The drill press and stuff already have power, the grinder and the drill press. I think that's it. Sorry for a really fast, crazy update. Am I remembering everything or am I forgetting that everything? That sounds good. All we have to do is airlines after we're done with the... Yes. Uh, yep, we just yep. gotta do that uh, within the next two weeks. We're gonna see if we can borrow the um, Dynatech scissor lift and then get our airlines run up and over and down and then we'll bring them to the machines. This wall we don't have to worry about uh, getting a scissor lift where we can reach and we'll just bring the airlines down here. So we'll have two main trunks coming off of our compressor in the back. I think you got a good shot of that, Josh. Oh, yep, back yep. In the, closet. the closet's really nice, guys. We really have a 
beautiful spot for our power to be protected and away from everything now and the air. So that closet will be where we source our power and our air and then uh, basically send it to the rest of the shop. So at this point, we'll keep it short, we'll keep it sweet. Thank you for your support of us, for believing in what we're doing and where we're going with this. And we could literally be prototyping back to prototyping here within within two weeks at this point. All right, guys, thank you, take care.